In this video, I'm gonna make a drawing turn into reality. You loved the previous episode, and I actually love making this stuff. So let's make another episode. For this one, I found a really cool drawing. I think that it's a bit harder than the previous edit, but I do think that I can pull this off. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe, like the video. Your support means the world to me. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. So first I started to make the shape for the head with just a pen tool. I added the color. I did the same thing with the tentacles or whatever that is, I don't really know. I traced them with the pen tool and I added the color to the shape. When I made the main shapes for the head and the tentacles, I did the same thing with the eyes. I did the same thing with the tongue, trace the shape and add the color. Then I dropped the eye and I clipped it to the shape I made earlier. Now let's make the lips, same thing. After that I made shapes with every single teeth, it was a pain, not gonna lie. For now it's pretty easy, it's just tracing the picture and making the shapes, that's it. I made shape for everything and then I started to add this ambient shadows. For this I use exposure. I'm adding this to give it more 3D feel. I'm thinking the light is gonna come from the left side so I'm adding the shadows on the right side. I add the shadow on the top of the eye. Adding this ambient shadows really makes it look a lot better. I changed the colors of the teeth. I merged the tongue with the mouth with just removing the back part. I added the same ambient shadows on the tentacles. Now teeth are looking pretty bad too, so I added the ambient shadows on them and it made it a lot better. To fill the space between lips and teeth, I put the shadow between them too. Some more shadows on the lips. Some more shadows on the bottom teeth, there we go. Now let's add shadows on the tongue because it looks very 2D also. The back of the tongue has to be very dark, there you go. After that I added the texture on the teeth, because it's looking very smooth, I guess. After that I added the skin texture on the main shape. I fixed some of the parts. And I think it looks pretty good. I erased some of the parts to make these wrinkles really pop. After that I thought that the skin color was actually pretty bad and I made it this dark blue color. Some more shadows in the wrinkles.
I added the texture of the lips from the same picture. Then I dropped the picture of a tongue, I clipped it, I warped it to match the shape and the final result actually looks pretty good. I chopped off some of the parts of the tongue because I think that's how it looks like, it was pretty smooth. I cut off some of the skin from the same texture and I clipped it to the tentacles. I warped it to match the curve and did the same thing on every single one of them. After that I erased the right side of the lips because the drawing has this kind of cuts on the right side. I didn't really know what texture to put in this cut so I clipped the whale teeth. Yeah, it's a picture for whale teeth. Normal stuff. I made them a lot darker. I added the shadow inside with just normal exposure. I matched the color to the main shape and I started to add these tiny eyeballs. I made the eyeballs match the shape and I did the same thing on every eye. What a surprise. I put some shadow inside, there we go. I added some shadow outside. After that I started to add the highlights on the left side because that's where the light comes from. I used hue and saturation for the highlights because I wanted the highlights to have this blue tone. I'm using the brush with very low flow. Then I clipped the texture of a mouth. I warped it. I made it a lot darker, I made the edges very soft and started to add the texture on the teeth. I also added the blood with just a normal brush. I chopped off some of the parts to make the edges not so perfect. And then I dropped a simple cave background. I matched the shape. I removed the outside part. I made it a lot darker. I only lit up the corners and then I made the light source. I changed the color of the highlights to match the light source. There we go. And then I started to paint this saliva, which should be pretty disgusting. To make this I used soft white brush and I connected the teeth with these wavy lines. In the end it turned out to be very good. I made the eyeballs more red. It was lacking some wetness, so I used the plastic rub and I painted it on the textures that should be pretty wet. At the end I added the camera raw filters, I probably changed everything and this is the final result. There you have it. This looks terrible and disgusting and that is great. That's where I was going for. 
for me it's a win. I definitely experimented with a lot of things, especially in the mouth, because the saliva, the teeth, I actually could have used the teeth from some animal, but the final result turned out to be very good and I enjoyed making it a lot. And if you want me to make more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I hope I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.